matter how unbelievable this story is, just remember that it's true and it actually happened. In South Africa, in February 2018, a hired hitman called Lakiwe Mkize was paid to kill a woman. He was given a part payment and promised the rest of the money when the job was done. When the hitman got to the woman's house, he monitored the surroundings a bit and then he entered. But as soon as he entered the house, he had a sudden change of heart. The hitman was caught in two minds whether to do it or not because the woman he was about to kill was so old and she was so fragile, he just couldn't get himself to do it. So he asked for a glass of water instead, turned his back and went straight to the police and told them everything. What unfolded after police investigations will blow you out of the water. It shocked the whole of the nation. Okay, so all the way in the southmost country in Africa, in South Africa, is a 45-year-old woman called Rosemary Indovu. Rosemary was the golden child of her family. She was the one everybody would go to when there was a problem because she had money. Rosemary served in the police force for years. She was a corrupt policewoman. She stole guns from the police safe and sold them to criminals. Rosemary also had a terrible gambling habit, which made her lose lots of her money. It started in 2012, when someone took the time to wipe Rosemary's family out. Rosemary got a phone call that her cousin, Homu, was missing. Homu left home for work and didn't return. Rosemary spearheaded a search from police station to police station looking for her cousin, Homu. He was found earlier on beaten to death and his body dumped in the bushes. Rosemary lost her cousin on the 1st of April 2012. Then Rosemary's direct sister, Audrey Indovu, wasn't answering her phone for no reason. And Rosemary had been trying and trying to reach her. Audrey's room was locked so her neighbors broke into it and found Audrey strangled to death. Rosemary lost Audrey Indovu, her sister, in June 2013. Then Rosemary's boyfriend that she lived with called Morris Mabasa, who worked at the US Embassy, left for work and wasn't heard from again. When the police found Morris, he had been stabbed more than 70 times. His attackers dumped his body not far from Rosemary's house and fled. Then Rosemary's nephew, Mayeni, after meeting up with Rosemary, was found murdered a day later. Rosemary's niece, Zanel Martha, was visiting her in her home near Clayville when she was crossed and viciously attacked, sustaining fatal head injuries. Zanel Martha was declared dead upon arrival at the hospital. At this point, Rosemary has lost four loved ones to senseless killings already. Then Rosemary's nephew, Brilliant Mashego, met with Rosemary to ask her for some money. They met at Bushbuck Ridge, an area in South Africa. The two spoke and after they parted, Rosemary went her way and Brilliant went his way. Two days later, Brilliant was found dead on the streets with severe head wounds. Brilliant was the sixth relative Rosemary lost. But everything changed on this day in February 2018, when it was Rosemary's mother's turn to die. A hired hitman by the name Lakiwe was paid to kill Rosemary's mother. Lakiwe, who had previous run-ins with the law, had been arrested some time ago by Rosemary for an illegal firearm. So when Lakiwe was paid to kill Rosemary's mother, he decided not to and instead went to the police and exposed who paid him to kill Rosemary's mother. When the police heard who the mastermind behind Rosemary's family killings was, they couldn't believe it. Police never would have guessed who if they had infinite time. The person responsible for Rosemary's family murders was no one but Rosemary in Dovu herself. So the police set a video camera in a vehicle where you can see Rosemary instructing Lamike the hitman on how to kill her sister, who was next on the list. In the police recording, you can hear Rosemary 
instructing the hitman to burn her sister and her five children alive in their house so that she could cash in on insurance policies she had made in her sister's name. Welcome back to Newslink. Nomi and Lovu's sister, Joyce, says she can't forgive the suspected serial killer for trying to burn her and her children alive. Rosemary insured her relatives with different expensive life insurance policies without them even knowing. Then, she hired hitmen to kill them so she could cash in from the insurance policies. This was good business for Rosemary. For her cousin Homu, she received around 7,000 US dollars from two different insurance companies. She gave Homu's mother $825 to mourn his son and pocketed the rest. For her sister Audrey, that Rosemary drugged and strangled herself, she made around 40,000 US dollars. For her niece, Martha, and her lover, Maurice, she made around 30,000 US dollars from the insurance policies. The accused is sentenced to life imprisonment. Rosemary was found guilty of the murders in court and was sentenced to life in prison plus five additional life sentences. After making $93,000 from killing her relatives, Rosemary didn't have a house. She had no relevant assets to show for. She had squandered the money in casinos, at least a silver lining. 